All right, viewers, we're back. Welcome back. It's it's time. It's time for this thing to happen again. It's time for uh, more of our people to miss every attack, get crit a hundred times, and then die horribly. Are you excited? I'm excited. We've had a man. We've had a rough couple of runs. Um, so let's see here. What do I want to do? Dona. Learn some camping skills. He has gallows humor. She has that stuff. He has a little bit of healing. Somebody in, in my building is being incredibly loud. I don't know if you can hear that. Hopefully that's not showing up on the recording. Rainbow Core, you're not even in the party, man. Calm down. You'll get your turn. Um, Let's go ahead and unlock weapons practice as his fourth skill. Can we upgrade her again? No, it takes 130 crests. Right. Okay. Now uh, we will remember to equip it. Alright, we're going on another long red. I know. I know. I remember what happened. Trust me. But, the Ancestor's Pen is an extremely good trinket. Um, there are lots and lots of characters we would love to have that on. Uh, the fact is, we do still need gold. As you can see, I spent basically all of our bank. Almost all of it was spent just on upgrading these four. Um, but I actually did upgrade their skills and their gear all the way. These are all things that had to happen if we were going to use them to enter the Darkest Dungeon anyway. So, pay the cost now, right? I may want to bring some more torches, even... I will say we're going into the Warrens, which I think is a... Oh, that's right, we get a we get a free shovel for having a Grave Robber. It's like 250 gold, she just throws in the pot every time we bring her on a mission. That's pretty nice. Uh, we'll bring a few medicinal herbs. I'm trying to remember, the Warrens... The pig monsters don't really apply blights or bleeds to any tremendous degree. We see we will see some bandits, which means that we should be prepared to deal with bleeds. Um, oh, the worm guys. The the worm guys are. Yeah, we'll bring some of those too. That's probably good enough. Do I want to bring extra torches? Nah. I don't think the level of light has been uh, has been our problem so far. You really, really have to be on top of everything in these reds. I cannot forget stuff like upgrading people's gear. We are uh, we're losing people in stupid ways. Down there in the dark. What are we doing? Room battles. Or perhaps we can oh. slay them even faster. And already we see so many. Fortunately, good scouting will at least allow us to avoid unnecessary hallway battles. Right, what's your what's your problem? You're bloodthirsty. You're compulsive too. We'll we'll train the compulsive out of her after this because that one's, that one's pretty not okay. All right, an insatiable ghoul. Sixteen to thirty-two. That is a mighty attack. Let's do this for now. Really, you resisted the bleed. Well, that sucks. As the fiend falls, that'll show up. A faint hope blossoms. Okay. Um, I don't remember. Fighting red level ghouls, I don't know if they have any new tricks. But frankly, the old levels of ghoul are scary enough. I don't really they don't really need to have new tricks. So his blight resist is high. 139 against 65. So it, there's a pretty good chance to apply the blight here. We have a 22% chance to crit. Alright, fish for the crit. Only nine, pretty sad. Would definitely have been better off um, with the blight darts. But it's hard to make that call before actually taking the swing, right? 
No, let's just let's just finish off the maggot. Let's let's Give not worry no about it. That will remove a lot of his dodge. How much does that bleed? Four. Significant. It is nice to have a man at arms with a rampart shield again, finally. The ground quakes. Alright. This is uh this is starting to feel like it's under control a little bit. Maybe that's bad. Maybe I should be nervous when I get that feeling. That whole the thing Wayne's always saying about overconfidence, you know. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Alright, I uh I did uh, I think lose our other gunslinger buckle. So Harriet's just using the most generic possible equipment. I'm mad about this. I hate Swine Tour Champions. Hate them so much. Alright, take advantage of that big crit value. No. Really not doing that much damage. The thing has an unfortunate amount of drop. That doesn't work. That would be annoying. Balanced. Okay, it did. Well, rampart it is then. Give 120 stun resist against 139 plus 40. Mm. Well, it's better than 50%. Yeah. Nope, he resisted. Fortunately, the presence of the swine torn makes these dude's actions kind of awkward. This is gonna hurt, though. Oh, and the stun had to land, too. Man. Their formation is broken. Man, somebody in my building the offensive. Not so much cooking as burning something. That is not pleasant. That's not a nice smell. Let's throw out a weakening curse on the slide tour. Let's uh, deal with some of that damage before it gets here. Honestly, should I? Yeah, let's just try to land the stun again. Nope. 59% chance, but I cannot seem to make it happen. Well, this is a better order for our party at least. Non-lethal, as always. Non-lethal could be his middle name. Are you kidding me? Minimum damage to leave him at one? Must you? Must you be that guy? Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. Take that. Five damage. Sucker. Masterfully executed. It's probably not gonna work. We're having a really hard time making a stun stick on this guy. Uh I think we probably ought to heal. I don't think he's going to survive long enough for the Blight attack to do all that much damage. Wow. Okay. Decent. Their cursed champion falls. Now, while These we were doing that... creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. Um, while we were doing that fight, I didn't feel like it was going very well. But, uh, we came out okay. I actually didn't need to have Weakening Curse even equipped. It was handy there. But, uh, 
he's supposed to be stabbing people with his crazy eldritch knife. Okay, a little extra food. Just shovel all this clearly not human meat into our pack. So we would never use people. Are surprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. One imagines that uh, your party members would have some feelings about taking meat out of that cart, but everybody seems to be okay with it. Very low damage, and the loot gets resisted. Harriet, you're fucking up. You have all of our all of our fancy damage equipment. You gotta step it up there, bud. Alright, uh I'm unlocked. Not so much. Very low very low. Very low in her damage rate. Ouch. Reeling. How much is that rate for? Four for five. Do we still have bandages? Yes we do. Good. It definitely feels like, um, it definitely feels like everything we do misses and everything they do crits. The game is generating some bad feelings here. Ah, oh, 24 on a non-crit, huh? That's a lot of stress. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay, he needs the bandage, first of all. Secondly, he needs to heal himself, but of course, uh, we got depositioned. And I'm not sure what the best way for him to survive the rest of this turn is going to be. Huh. Because he's definitely going to be targeted with him at this little health. I guess maybe move to the back? Maybe they can't all reach it? Right, the pig monster targets people with high stress. 94. Yeah, the others are going to target him because he has low health. Alright. Um, I think this guy has difficulty attacking well from the back. I also would really love to stop rolling at the bottom end of the damage range on basically every attack. Spend all that time carefully picking out. Yep, here comes uh, here comes Trelly's resolve being tested. Uh, it is, by the way, the second room. Of the Fear and frailty finally claim their due. Let's just try to keep denying attacks. You know, the thing only has 10 speed. Uh, when we are only 10 speed above the enemies, uh, or when we are only three, 2 or 3 speed above the enemies, I'll tell you what, we definitely do not always get to go first. No. A decisive Be in front. Bullying. Sticks. Okay. This guy is out of the fight. And you resisted the stun, that's excellent. I think he has to keep healing himself, sadly. He resisted the debuff that makes blights easier to apply. And resisted the blight. Let's see if we can't restun The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Wow. Actually, I should have just opened it. That was kind of kind of silly. Yeah, we have 
blight resist really isn't uh, isn't so high that I would be expecting it to to work every time. Yeah, this is bad. And it's very bad to have somebody break so early in the dungeon. Because now he's gonna just be spamming stresses onto the rocks. Once again, we have to hope. A trifling victory, uh, but a victory nonetheless. Let's do that, and we will eat this stack of food. Actually, let's do that. Okay. Maybe we can get lucky and there can only be that one more room battle. Nope. But we are getting good scouting information. It's a it's a box. It's a cube made out of wood, you know how it works. So let's think about our options um, as far as camping go. Oh great, there's four more room battles at least. I cannot believe how many there are. Hmm. Do I need to camp? I don't, really. Except that I'm afraid of this, uh, this asshole having a heart attack. But camping would clear some inventory space. I can apply some buffs. Yeah, let's go ahead and camp now. Gathered close wow. in tenuous Man. firelight. An uneasy companionship. So wait, do we have a we have a stress eater? Ugh. We have a stress eater and the uh Well, let's do it. Gallows humor to reduce his own stress. Bandit sense. And then clean guns is looking looking like a pretty strong play. We could get nighttime ambushed if we do that. Um, could get a broader damage buff. Actually, yeah, let's do this. Okay, he won't... He won't buff his teammates. It should not consume the time units. Um, the match because I get how a blazing star doing weapons born. practice could consume time units. You know that takes that takes some time. But him going, nah, I don't want to do that. Should not take the same amount of time as training everybody with their weapons. Well, again, we're in a situation where if we had to bail out, we at least have uh, we at least have some money. It's nice to it's nice to have running away be gold positive. That's a good position to be in. Oh, these two are swapped. Uh, we're more likely to be able to kill the pig, the uh, swine heaver. Ugh, what a gross name. Only 10 damage. All of these buffs, plus 50% damage on that attack, and you got to 10. Oh man, everybody who can uh, who can stress is really focused on Portrella here. I think that stuns. Uh, no, it in fact does nothing apparently. Sigh. Well, I appreciate the, uh, what do you call it, the swine tour exposing the madman. That was nice of Death by We will forever remember his contribution. Please don't knock him in the back, damn it. 
That's inconvenient for several members of my party. What is the stun chance on Shadow Fate? It's only 19% past his stun resist. So that being the case, I think I'm just going to do this. I don't actually want her to move forward right now. I don't want her to move backwards either. The man at arms can, um. The man at arms can throw a rampart. Or actually, he can't even. He's just going to have to move. Okay, well. This at least puts us back into a uh, fighting shape. Ow. injury. Palpable fear. Yeah, these fights with one large enemy, um, even if the large enemy does lots of damage, these fights are nowhere near as dangerous as, uh, as fights with troops. We're gonna heal, uh, this guy instead of Trelly, in part because Trelly doesn't need it as badly, but largely because I think Trelly would not use the health very well. He's on your side, clearly. I mean, I know he's like, uh, he's crying and blubbering. But he's on your side. Don't be freaked out by that. He's being a team player right now. Sort of. He's, he's sort of being a team player. Right a victory. Perhaps the turning point. But look at that. Even a crit. Okay, we don't actually have a lot of food relative to our rate of consumption. So I'm a little reticent to drop food. No more room battles, okay. Well, we have to go over here. Oh, the spirits don't command you to do anything. It's all on you, Trelly. I'm blaming you for everything. We eat a lot of food. Stress eater is pretty annoying. That's a, an annoying trait. Oh, damn it, I didn't swap back. I really wish I had, too. Point blank shot on these guys is uh, some pretty good game. But actually, I think we're going to do that. Of course, we're going to get uh, right at the bottom of the damage range. Never higher than the bottom of the damage range. Impressive. Ah. Did you know that having people afflicted is a bad thing and often leads to negative outcomes? You were frozen in place. You, you successfully dodged him. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Every every attack has to be a crit. Screw you, guy. That's what would have happened at the beginning if I was playing well. Yeah, I'm gonna try to kill him. Okay, so we are uh, super fucked on health. These guys each need like three heals to land on them. Remind uh, yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. We probably don't need a key. We just don't have enough food to make uh, a profitable second camp, unfortunately. And he fails to disarm the trap. Mind that such what a time. Steps are the exception, and not the rule. Well, 1,100 more gold. That's nice. Yeah. 
I assume that these are the last two uh, battles, because if they're not, then there's no way we're going to complete this dungeon. I wanted Harriet to do it, but uh, I didn't want to take the risk of him failing and getting stressed. Oh, are you kidding me? There's another room battle? So, at best, I have to win four more fights. And that's if, after doing this room battle, I walk all the way back around and approach these rooms from the north, and we get no, um, no enemy spawns on the way back. Or five fights if I want to just take one of these direct hallways. Can we win five more fights? Well, let's camp. We gotta get, uh... Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Yeah, this is, this is really bad. Alright. It worked on everybody who matters. But we'll do bandit sense. And then with the last of it... I would really rather have buffed somebody, but um, the way is lit. The path I just is don't clear. Think feasible. We require only the strength to follow it. A nighttime ambush would almost certainly have been the end of the run. We still probably aren't going to make it. Hmm. Yeah. need people to land attacks and hit with the, the crit rate that it says on their character sheet instead of the stuff they keep doing. Okay. One. That did one damage. Well, that guy has thrown himself upon your mercy at least. Here's what I think of that. Oh, you don't want to vomit on him? Come on, you've been vomiting on... Pig, pig monsters have been vomiting on him all day. He really is causing a ton of extra stress on everyone. Honestly, I really cannot believe um, how quickly he overstressed. Very slightly left the sky alive. Uh, I don't suppose it matters. Not, neither of those attacks is going to do very much. And he's just going to dodge the east. Yeah, we are way behind the eight ball. Or way behind the uh the eight ball is not the phrase I wanted to say. We are way behind the curve, healing-wise. This is why playing aggressively is important, because there is no way at all for you to keep up. Uh, we are attacking a corpse. That's a bad sign. He's gonna throw a little tantrum. He is going to finish the fight, at least. As victories mount, so too uh, will resistance. A bandage is of more use to us than some portraits, I think. Uh, we have so little food now that we cannot possibly heal outside of combat because we could uh, we could then suffer a starvation event, which would be devastating. I'm always worried about those because of stress, but at this point, um, the health loss from a starvation event would be would be too much to bear. I think. Uh, 
Uh, zero's not a very high number. Okay, 19's good. That was nice, top of the damage range. <laughs> and we can land a stun here. Okay. Hopefully the swine tower doesn't eviscerate anybody. Alright, yeah, go ahead and lay it on. Go ahead and lay it on, Trelly. Frankly, I just don't even care what happens to this guy anymore. The blight resist of a swine tower is, uh, is pretty high. We held for a grand total of one over his last two, uh... Last two heal spells combined. Uh, the stun is... There's still a pretty good chance. I'm gonna keep trying for it. There we go. That's pleasant. <clears throat> Alright, head man down, finally. Now to focus on, you know, the dangerous enemy. Alright, one more try. There you go, 15. Oof. Well, it's a good thing he got healed. Trelly is definitely not making the same Also, man, one in four, according to the according to the number on her sheet, one in four of those dagger throws are supposed to be critical. He's got 47 health, but we can uh, we can definitely get through that. Okay, there's a crit. I think that was the uh, the bottom of his damage range that he crit on. That I was frozen in place thing, that should not happen if you dodge successfully. Him, com him crying out that he was frozen in place makes good sense if he's explaining why he got hit. It doesn't make a lot of sense um, when he dodges. Are you going to pass? Please don't pass. Okay. Monstrous size has no intrinsic oh, merit, hey. unless inordinate exsanguination be considered It's another one of those boxes. This is a different one than either of the ones that we had before. Uh, we will definitely take it. Um, I'm holding on to the medicinal herbs in the hopes that we stumble across another food curio, because I could really use another big food infusion. We're going to go ahead and drop this for the trinket. Well, I'm gonna try to go around and come at these from the north. And if a fight spawns in one of the halls, we'll just turn around and go through the, uh, the quick way. I'm very concerned about the amount of food that we have. I'm desperately hoping that one of these curios, I'm gonna check this one real quick. Oop. Empty. Food would have been really nice. How much what, how much wealth are we carrying right now? Man, not nearly as much as the last mission. Well, I guess we do have these trapezohedrons. They don't look as impressive as stacks of food for some reason. Oh, you we are also horribly misordered here. Uh, every every single person in the party was in the wrong place. And all of the man at arms is crying has really pushed Harriet way up the stress uh, meter. Okay, well, we got lucky and we didn't get any extra fights. This is still doable. And in fact, we're really in pretty good uh, condition damage wise. Shit. This is not the uh, 
Not the dinner cart that I was hoping for. Yeah, 94. All right, let's go. Come on, easy fight. Not that easy. Honestly, we've been making it out of the Swine Tor fights in pretty good health, though. Okay, that's a good start. I'm gonna take this drummer down as well. He's gonna pass, okay. Well, that's annoying. Pig Spear is really, really powerful. It is by far the most dangerous thing for them to do. Um, we got very lucky that we got three dodges on that. Alright. We are going to try for the pigs, the, the stun on the swine tour. Damage prospects are not very good. I think we're actually just gonna mark. Well, or mark heal. I was noticing that he was marked as I was speaking, and I totally just kind of let my brain be carried away by that thought. Our occultist is uh is doing okay on stress. His stress is actually like uh, weirdly low. All right, eleven's good. I'm happy about eleven. Keep him back there for a couple turns? No. Ouch. Injury and despondence set the stage for ah, there goes Harriet. Poor cowardice. Harriet's also fearful. Ugh. Well, at least this guy's dead now. Hopefully that stun doesn't land. Of course it did. Everybody goes to low health, and your healer gets stunned. Alright, that's uh, an annoying thing to have done. A singular strike. But I suppose it'll, it'll be alright. Alright, come on, stun! Yes! Right after we land the game, that's perfect timing. Is the weapon that cuts on its own. Are right, you? Let's take it down a notch. Alright, he definitely has to kill himself here. I don't know that we need to change formation, honestly. I think we were we were fine as we were. Oof. Well, the battle's under control, at least. That's not gonna do anything, she just needed something to do. Alright. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. One more battle. Uh, you know what? We don't need the shovels, we know that. We have actual zero food left. I am unenthused about this. And that is a sucky curio. Oh, don't walk in the trap for no reason. I probably should have let her handle that. Okay, all we have to do is survive this somehow. What does this do? Gives dodge and... Is this better than... Something that somebody is wearing. Eight dodge plus fifteen percent max HP. Nah. Okay, here we go. Final battle. Please let it be an easy one. Uh. Okay, this this is actually pretty bad. I am not happy about this. I'm not happy about him being in this position for this either. Ah. Uh. A big crit would have been a great open. Shit, we are so doomed. This is so bad. Uh, 
Alright. This guy is the most pressing. He's the greatest immediate danger. Okay, that was pretty good. Okay, the stun does land. So, we may be able to take him down without him getting an attack off. Uh, the cutthroats... The cutthroats hit the front two guys attack when it crits, just deals a tremendous amount of soul damage while you're going to death's door. And now, the true test. Hold fast. That's pretty bad. Or expire. Okay, don't, don't, don't do anything crazy. Alright. <sighs> Five to twelve. Man. Base damage is rough. Alright, come on. Seven is insufficient. Right, please get him off. Right, he can finish it, but he probably won't go before, yeah. Okay, good, good. Good choice. Alright, no crits on that. I'm happy. A lot of those bleeds landed, but if we can just... Alright. Alright, fine. If that's what you want to do, go ahead. Okay, I think I think we got it now. I think we're gonna I think we're we're extremely likely to win this fight. Minimum damage. Uh do I just wanna focus this guy down? That guy's annoying, but he's unlikely to actually kill us because of the way he does his attack. That uh, spread out. Also, he does get dodged a lot. I don't know, his attack might have low accuracy or something. Well struck. And I'm happy about that too. Okay, well. That, uh... That sucked. But, we made it through. <laughs> you strayed from the plan. The plan was that you would hit him. Yep. Yeah, these guys with their spread out attack are not, uh, not that dangerous. I mean, I guess there aren't a ton of en enemies that are all that dangerous when they're by themselves. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely oh, a trick of the there light? Curious, it'd be easy to get to. Yeah, we'll go get this one. I know we uh, we could suffer a hunger event, but at this point, uh, that doesn't matter at all. I would rather have 25 gold than two busts. Absolutely, no question. Uh, we can go get that curio too. I don't see why not. Yeah, a hunger event would be pretty much meaningless to us at this point because everybody has to be de-stressed anyway. Yeah, sure, touch it. Okay. Uh, a hunger event would take some people just lost her mind walking down the hall. There can be no hope in this hell. No hope at all. Um. A hunger event would drop some people to death's door, and we would have to leave immediately because a hunger event while we're all sitting at death's door would, of course, be terrible. Yeah, 135 will do. So, uh, the fact that everybody has to be de-stressed cuts into our profits a lot. Yeah, okay, thanks. Like, every square around us is already scouted. I don't know why, uh, why the game thought needed to show me that. Stay. 
smashed heirlooms. Um, whatever. And now the darkness holds dominion. I want this bag. Death. Yes, let's find out. Nothing. Plus plus loot indeed. Plus 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 even. How about this sack? Oh yeah. Solid reminder that we need to clear her compulsiveness. Okay. Quest complete. Some experiments should have never happened. You are doing just work ending them. Alright, so 30,000 gold and an ancestor's pet. And, you know, some... some heirlooms. No crests. And... four new level sixes. Eagle Eye is good enough that we might even lock it in, honestly. Nocturnal's a little annoying. There is a great horror beneath the manor. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. Alright, well let's uh let's pay for some some cleanup here. Compulsive. That needs to go away forever. Uh, and then we will of course you get to de-stress. And you get to de-stress. And 2100 to pray in the transept. I'm gonna have him gamble. Gambling is at maximum effectiveness. I'm gonna have him gamble because I'm tempting fate in a slightly different way. Uh, what do we? We lost a bounty hunter, and I do want to hire a new bounty hunter. Word is traveling. Ambition is stirring in distant cities. All right, we can use this. Six more deeds, and we will actually be completely out of stuff to do with deeds. We'll be all done with deeds. All deeds from then on will be actual garbage. I was treating them like garbage, but they did technically have a use. Um, also, we need 130 plus, I don't know, probably 200 um, crests here, so we're still going to need crests for a good long time. Uh, is there anything else that we need to do party maintenance-wise? Yep, Dureri also needs to be de-stressed. She's gonna... Is she a bad gambler? No. Okay, she doesn't care. She's gonna She's gonna go gamble as well. Maybe we can win a sweet trinket. Alright, well, we've had... We've had a bunch of rough runs in a row, huh? That one was a victory, but it was still very hard. But we got a sweet trinket. We made some XP. We have an actual party of, of level sixes now. We could try the Darkest Dungeon again in the very near future. Uh, I'd love to get some options up there, though. So, join us next time. When we probably don't send these four into a dungeon together. That doesn't seem like that great of a party. But uh, when we do something, you know? I don't know. Something. And we'll see you then.